Hello, today I'm going to run you through the main differences between our brand new TSN 55 Promenade Pure Fluorite Crystal 55mm Ultra Compact Scope. I'm going to take you through the differences, the similarities, what makes this scope an improvement and run you through the features compared to the older model, the TSN 550 Promenade. TSN 55 as a promenade scope is benefiting from a pure fluorite crystal objective lens. It's unique to Koa. We use it in our 99, 88, 66. It was in the 550. It's now in the new 55 with improved optical coatings, making this compact scope a real powerhouse, punching above its size and weight. The optical performance is amazing. It's not using glass. It's not using ED glass. It is pure crystal, fluorite crystal grown, it is shaped into a cylinder, it is cut, it is polished into a lens, and that's what gives you a stunning promenade, unique performance. Chromatic aberration is virtually zero. There is no better material on the planet that you can use to make optical systems from pure fluorite crystal. And we're so proud that we are the only sporting optics manufacturer that grow our own lenses. We grow them from powder, we cut them, we manufacture them in-house, and we use them in these scopes to give you the best possible performance that we can. So the big difference with the new 55 model, the new Promenade, is that we're now incorporating our TE11WZI piece fixed into the body of this scope. Now what that means is a huge improvement in the optical performance. ED lenses in the eyepiece, improved coatings on the prism and the objective lens, the new coatings that we introduced with the 99, then the 88 and the 66. This 55 is benefiting from those new coatings, so higher transmission across all wavelengths of light, as well as the improved image quality, the resolution, the outstanding performance of this scope. By introducing the 11WZ eyepiece, which becomes a 17 to 40 times zoom on when you put it onto the spotting scope, is a huge increase in the field of view. Absolutely huge increase over the previous model. Anything from around 45 to 52% increase throughout the zoom range. It is really incredible when you take a look through the scope. So to put that into some context for you, the old 550 series of the 15 to 45 times optical zoom, 1,000 meters distance, you would see 44 to 23 meters as you zoom through. Now with the new 55 model, with the optical system of the 11WZ eyepiece added, 17 to 40 times zoom, and that gives you an incredible 64 to 35 meters to 1,000 meters distance as you zoom through. So it's a huge increase. By incorporating the 11WZ optical system into this very compact scope, we're getting the benefits that you see with the 99, the 88, the 66, and the 17 to 40 wide zoom eyepiece. Big wide field of view, ED lenses, absolutely incredible image quality and, and such a tiny compact scope. Comparing the size of the two models, We've actually managed to get the TSN 55 common or the new model a little bit shorter in body length. The 550 came in at 271 millimeters for the angled model from the objective to the end of the eyepiece. With the 55, our optical engineers have managed to shorten that. We're down to 255 millimeters now on the A, the angled version. So that's from the objective lens to the tip of the eyepiece. So managed to get save some space and managed to make it a little bit shorter. Let's talk about weight. The new model is slightly heavier than the old model, the 550. 810 grams for the 553 angled. The new 55A, 55A angled, comes in at 965 grams. The weight of the new model, which is slightly heavier than the old one, we believe the optical quality, the wide angle performance, the stunning eyepiece on the new 55 promenade is well worth those extra few grams. Both the previous model, the 550 and the new 55, utilized a zoom eyepiece. It's actually fixed to the body, so the eyepiece isn't interchangeable. 
And the whole reason for that is to keep the scope as compact as possible. If we were to include the bayonet mount so you could change the eyepiece, it would be a much bulkier scope. So that's why the eyepiece is fixed to the body, but we've given you a very, very versatile 17 to 40 times twist zoom eyepiece. Let's talk about cosmetics. The old 550 series was designed to follow the contours and shaping of the 880 and 770 now discontinued models. So the new 55 Promenade inherits the new good looks and the styling from the 66, the 88 and the 99 Promenade. It's got that same flowing lines, the rubber armor here, where the eye priest joins, just a stunning looking scope. You can see here just how well the new design has translated into this compact 55 scope. We've got the 99 here when the new design first came in, introduced, and now this is now passed down to the 55 and you can see just what a wonderful looking scope it is. And also just how compact this 55 millimeter model is. TSM 55 Promenade is utilizing our renowned dual focusing system. It was on the 99, the 88, the 66, previously on the 550. They will retain that feature. We believe it's one of the most accurate focusing systems on the spotting scope with the dual and the fine. Operation is absolutely flawless. Each of the optical upgrades to the spotting scope is now one of the most ultimate compact travel digiscoping setups that you can possibly lay your hands on. Utilising that pure fluorite crystal 55mm objective lens, stunning eyepiece, the wide angle performance. You've got multiple options. You can connect a DSLR body, no problem. You can just remove the eyepiece cap to get the accessory color access. You can use smartphone. We've got the Smartoscope, Universal, or you can use the dedicated fit RP adapters. It's using the 11WZ AR ring, which just pushes over. So simple, so easy to use, and fantastic result. On the new 55 model, we've also improved the aiming sight on the twist sunshade, just to give you more of a visual aid to help locate the subject more rapidly. Another improvement on the TSN 55 Promenade is the close focus distance. That's now down to just 2.8 metres. On the 550 it was 3 metres, so the optical engineers have managed to squeeze out even more close focus functionality on this new scope. So if you're looking for insects, flowers, without having to disturb, you can get really close up views. The filter thread remains the same, it's 58 millimetres, meaning you can protect the objective lens with your choice of filter. The tripod mount is standard, so you can quickly attach any tripod plate of your choice. The third tripod straight into the bottom of the scope, no problem. Of course, if you want to travel really light, then you can attach it to a monopod, no problem, just screw it straight into the base. And then you've got that stable viewing platform without the bulk of the tripod. A smooth twist sunshade, very smooth operation glides no problem. 